So we have three numbers here, x, y, and z, and the question wants to know whether the average of those three numbers is greater than z. Now, I think statement two actually seems easier to evaluate here, so I'll start with that one. Statement two lets us know the relative order of x, y, and z on the number line. We could even draw them out. The average of those three numbers is going to be that magical point from which the deviations all cancel out. The deviations above and the deviations from below the average, they all cancel each other out. That's the average. So under what circumstances would that average, that magical point, be to the right of z? Well, it would be at z if it's a symmetrical set, right? If, if these are evenly spaced numbers, then the average would be exactly at z. But if y is farther away from z than x is, then the average would have to move to the right and it would be greater than z. So I don't know who's farther away from z, x or y, and therefore statement two is not sufficient on its own. We can go ahead and eliminate the answer choices that claim that it is sufficient on its own. So b and d are gone and we're down to a, c, e. Now statement one is a bit more challenging, I think, to evaluate. Uh, we might benefit from doing a little bit of algebra here because in order for the average to be greater than z, we would have to say that x plus y plus z over 3, that's the dictionary definition of average, it's a sum divided by the number of terms, so x plus y plus z over 3 would have to be greater than z. So multiplying both sides by 3, we would be asking, is x plus y plus z greater than 3z? Subtracting z from both sides, we're asking, is x plus y greater than 2z? Now looking at statement one, if we add z to both sides of this inequality, I think we'll get exactly what our modified question was asking. Right? Adding z to both sides, and maybe also add x to both sides, we get that 2z is less than x plus y, and the question was asking, is x plus y greater than 2z? So statement one does give us exactly what we wanted to know, and therefore the correct answer is A. If you found this video useful, go to quantreasoning.com for a lot more where that came from. You should also click that like button and let me know in the comments below what you'd like me to make future videos about. And of course, if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and do that and click that bell below so you get notified about future videos. See you next time.